Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 10 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Long. I'm so happy that you've joined me here today. Please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, check me out across Facebook. And you can also take a visit uh, to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. This is week 10 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Long and today we are crocheting our way across the province of British Columbia. It's hard to believe that we have already uh, walked through nine provinces. This is our 10th one. And uh, this is the west coast of Canada. If you head on over to my blog, the link will be provided in the notes for this video. You will learn a couple interesting things about British Columbia. I also have some beautiful photos for the, you to check out there as well. Of course, the free uh, written pattern for this week of the cow is also available there. So you'll find it at richtexturescrochet.com. Today for this panel, I have chosen a medium brown color. You'll use your worsted weight yarn along with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. The panel today is made up of a variety of stitches, including single crochet stitches, half double crochet stitches, and double crochet stitches. And uh, throughout the pattern, you will see uh, a combination of these stitches which are going to make a shell stitch. So when we come to that shell stitch I will uh, slowly demonstrate how you work it. To begin for this pattern if you are following along each of these panels measures about 43 point uh, times 9 inches wide. If you would like to change the size of your panel you are going to need a multiple of six chains plus four for your starting chain. Today I'll be working a swatch of the pattern, so I'm going to begin by chaining two, uh, 22. But again, if you are following along, you will chain 160. Okay, so I'll be just demonstrating a small swatch of the pattern. So once you have changed your desired amount of chain stitches, you're going to begin on your first row by placing three double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from hook. So you're going to count in four, one, two, three, four, and in that fourth chain, work three double crochet stitches. Next, skip two stitches, one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, and now you are going to work your first shell in the next stitch. To work your shell stitch, you are going to begin by working three double crochet stitches in the stitch indicated. So in that next chain, work three double crochet stitches. Chain one stitch. And now working around the post of that double that last double crochet that you made, you are going to work three stitches. You're going to work a single crochet stitch a half double crochet stitch and a double crochet stitch. And that completes your shell. Now you're going to repeat. You're going to skip two stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, skip two stitches and work one shell stitch. To work your shell, you will work three double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Chain 
chain one and then working around the post of that last double crochet made you will work one single crochet stitch one half double crochet stitch and one double crochet stitch your shell is made next skip two stitches and single crochet in the next continue to repeat that all the way across your work until you come to the final three stitches when you come to the final three stitches you will end by skipping the next two stitches and working four double crochet stitches in the final chain Once you have worked your four double crochet stitches, chain one and turn, and you're ready to begin row two. For row two, you are going to single crochet in that first double crochet stitch. Next, you will skip three double crochet stitches. So one, two, three. And then you are going to shell in the next single crochet stitch. Now remember to work your shell, you're going to work three double crochet stitches, all worked into that single crochet stitch. So three double crochet stitches, chain one, around the post of the last double crochet that you just made, work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next three double crochet stitches and you're going to single crochet in the very top there in that chain one space. Single crochet. Next you'll skip the next three double crochet stitches. Your first double crochet, your first double crochet stitch was the one that you worked uh, the second part of your shell around. So there's one, two, three. When you come to the next single crochet stitch, you'll work another shell stitch. Three double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one around the post of the last one made. Single crochet, half double crochet, and a double crochet stitch. Skip the next three stitches, single crochet in the next chain one space. In the next single crochet, work one shell stitch. And then when you come to the end of your row, in the top of that turning chain, you're simply going, the starting turning chain, you're simply going to work one single crochet stitch. At the end of row two, you will chain three, turn your work, and get ready for row three. For row three, you're going to begin by working three double crochet stitches in the base of that starting chain stitch. So just out of that single crochet there that you worked at the bottom, work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next three stitches and single crochet in that chain one space. Skip the next three stitches and then work one shell stitch in the next single crochet stitch. So it's pretty easy to tell you will always work a shell stitch in each of the single crochet stitches of the row below. So there'll be no need to count once you uh, start to recognize where those single crochet stitches are. single crochet in the next chain one space 
and shell in the next single crochet space. So you will continue to repeat that all the way across your work. Single crochet in the next chain one. And when you come to the very end to your final single crochet stitch there that you um, and uh, started the last row with, you're going to work four double crochet stitches in that last single crochet stitch. You will then chain one and turn and get ready to continue on the pattern. Now for the rest of this pattern, you can see it coming out there quite nicely. Now for the rest of this pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows two and three until your work from the beginning measures approximately nine inches or a little bit less. Then head on over to my blog through the link provided in the video notes and there you will find the instructions for the single crochet edging, which you will complete uh, all the way around the square to complete your panel. The single crochet edging is the same one that we've been working for each of the previous nine weeks of this crochet along. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.